Welcome learners, in lesson today we look at uh, enthalpies through experiments. We focus on molar heat of neutralization, where we look at the following objectives. Divination of molar heat of neutralization, how to calculate molar heat of neutralization, writing thermochemical equation, how to draw the energy level diagram, source of errors, and then other points to note. So being the first one, divination of molar heat of neutralization is the enthalpy that occurs when acid and a base react to form one mole of water. 2. How to find molar heat of neutralization. The steps are always 3. Step 1 is calculate the heat change. That is delta H is equals to Mc change in T. M is the mass of solution obtained from density of water times volume of acid plus volume the alkali c is specific capacity given by 4.2 kilojoule per kilogram per kelvin or 4.2 joules per gram per kelvin change in t is change in temperature obtained by measuring the initial temperature of the acid t1 measuring the initial temperature of the alkali t2 then finding the average initial temperature T3 that is obtained by T1 plus T2 divided by 2. Then measuring the ice temperature attained during utilization reaction, make it T4. So change in T will be the final temperature T4 minus average initial temperature T3. Now step 2, you find the number of moles that evolve the heat above so because you're dealing with both solutions that is the acid and alkali number of moles will be obtained from molarity times volume of a thousand when the mole ratio between the acid and alkali is one to one and the number of moles of the acids equal the number of moles of the alkali then we use any of the moles now if the number of moles of the acid and alkali are different and the ratio is one to one use the small number of moles because the bigger number of moles is in excess in the last step find the mole light of neutralization here you take the moles you obtain step two is equals to enthalpy change step one or about one mole you cross multiply and you give your answer in kilojoule per mole now example, 50 same script of 2 molar diluted hydrochloric acid is reacted with 50 same script of 2 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Use the information below to answer the question as follows. Temperature of hydrochloric acid 22.5 degrees Celsius. Temperature of sodium hydroxide 22.5 degrees Celsius. Ice temperature of the mixture 35.5 degrees Celsius. A. Calculate the molar heat of neutralization. Bracket. Density is 1 gram per meter script. C. 4.2 kilojoule per kilogram per kelvin. Solution. Delta H is equal to Mc change in T. M is equal to density of water times volume of the acid plus volume of alkali. That is equal to 1 gram per semi script times 50 plus 50 close the bracket semi script and is equal to 100 grams. Now, because you are given C in kilojoule per kilogram per Kelvin, then you convert our mass to kilogram by dividing 100 divided by 1000, you get 0 0.1 kilogram. Now, change in T, we said earlier on, is equal to final ice temperature minus average initial temperature so that's 35.5 minus bracket 22.5 plus 22.5 divided by 2 gives you 13 degrees celsius which is equal to 13 kelvin therefore delta h is equal to 0 0.1 kilogram times 4.2 kilojoule per kilogram per kelvin times 13 kelvin and that is equal to 5.46 kilojoules
number of moles of hydrochloric acid, molarity times volume of 1000, 2 times 50 of 1000 is 0 0.1 moles. Number of moles of sodium hydroxide is 2 molar times 50 of 1000 gives you 0 0.1 moles. Now, since the mole ratio is 1 to 1, the number of moles used is 0 0.1 moles. So our last step is 0 0.1 moles, even 5.46 kilojoule, or about 1 mole, cross multiply, get 5.46 kilojoule times 1 mole over 0 0.1, gives you negative 54.6 kilojoule per mole. The negative sign is the result of temperature rise due to the reaction. B, write thermochemical equation. I said earlier on that when you write the thermochemical equation, you write the balance chemical equation, then include enthalpy change. The equation therefore becomes sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid, RO, sodium fluoride, plus water, enthalpy change, negative 54.6 kilojoule per mole. The energy level diagram is shown below. Now, points to note. The experimental value is nearly to equal to the theoretical value. Reasons. The heat loss to the surrounding is not accounted for. Now, note that the molar heat of neutralization of a strong base and a weak acid is 55.2 kJ per mole. Whereas for a strong acid and a strong base, is 57.2 kilojoule per mole. So the reason why the molar heat utilization for a strong base and a weak acid is lower than that of a strong acid and a strong base is some energy is used to analyze the weak acid before neutralization takes place. Also note that the molar heat of a strong acid in the weak base is 51.4 kJ per mole. Reason, some energy is used to analyze the weak base before neutralization takes place. Now next we look at how to calculate temperature change in an example of enthalpy of precipitation reaction. I said last time when you're finding the, the change in temperature, you follow these three, three steps. First, find the number of moles to then find the enthalpy change by from saying one mole is equal to molar heat or into the, the molar heat what about the moles in step one then the last step you find change in t is equal to enthalpy change over mc example of reaction I calculate the temperature change when 900 symbol script of one molar copper sulfate solution were added to 600 symbol script of one molar barium fluoride solution bracket c is 4.2 joules per gram per kelvin density is one gram per single strip use the equation below to find the change in temperature solution number of moles of copper sulfates is 900 times 1 over 1000 is equal to 0 0.9 moles. Moles of barium chloride, 600 times 1 over 1000, 0 0.6 moles. Now from the mole ratio of 1 to 1, the number of moles used would be 0 0.6 moles because the copper sulfate was in excess by 0 0.03 that is obtained by taking because the ratio is 1 to 1 the moles of copper sulfate reacted is 0 0.6 that means the, the excess copper sulfate will be 0 0.9 minus 0 0.6 gets 0 0.3 therefore step 2 we find the heat change by saying one mole is equal to 17.7 .7 kilojoule or about 0 0.6 moles Cross multiply, get 17.7 kilojoules times 0 0.6 moles over 1 mole gives you 
kilojoules. Now because I'm given C in joule per gram per Kelvin, so I convert my enthalpy change to joules by multiplying by 1000, I get 10,620 joules. Last step, change in T is equal to enthalpy change over MC. So M is equal to density of water times volume of copper sulfate plus volume of barium chloride. That is 1 gram per centimeter cubed times bracket 600 plus 900 centimeters cubed gives you 1500 grams. Leave your answer in grams because C is joule per gram per Kelvin. So change in T therefore is equal to 10,620 joules divided by 1500 grams times 4.2 joules per gram per Kelvin. The answer is equal to 2 Kelvin, which is equal to 2 degrees Celsius. Then us, that is the end of the lesson. The next lesson look at molar heat of combustion.